What's up guys, it's me Catch from Laser Sounds and in today's video I will show you how you can make your own slap house track like Vice or Dinoro. For today's video I get the vocals from the last release of my friend DJ Tim Bayer which is called Better Off Without You and let's go straight into the tutorial and make a cool slap house track. Okay guys, so let's start with the intro and at first we need to add some vocals. So you told me it is nice to meet ya. After that I write some chords. And I use a uh, yeah, pad. And in the next step we need to add a reese bass. And the reese bass is only playing the, the lowest notes of the chords. And what you need to do for the bass or for the reese bass is switch on the glide mode, which you can see here. And also add some sidechain to it. Yeah, not 100%, so that is a bit softer and in the next step we need to add a down sweep for the intro and also add a really high instrument for yeah bring tension to the track so yeah you can hear it this is a violin sample and also yeah add a simple loop And what I did here is I yeah add a kick but only play the low frequencies. I cut it the the higher frequencies. And in the next section I will add a plug sound. So another instrument. And this plug sound plays yeah the same notes as the Reese bass as you can see here in the in the video just uh, another pattern i yet yeah, changed the instrument cut the lows that we don't need here i was in deep love and pain as i put me a glass of my classic champagne and i also automated the eq and what I did here is add another FX. Okay guys, so let's go over to section number two, the build up. And for the build up I added some snare build up drums an impact and also a riser and more or less all the sounds that I use here are from my sound bank called losing it you can grab it by the link in the description As you can see I group the instruments and fade them out just with the normal EQ and I also added a drum fill before the drop So all in all that's it for the build up and we can go over to the last and most important section the drop Okay guys, so in the drop I yeah use really simple drums. Just a simple drum loop with a crash, a normal clap and also a yeah, really normal kick. Slap house lives from lives from the from the bass line and here is the main focus on 
So let's see what I did here. As you can see, I layered some bases, but before I layered them, I yeah made a, a base pattern, which are the same notes as the Reese bass. It could sound like that. And now you need to layer the bass with different instruments like I did here. I yeah layered the tongue. And I also layered a sub bass. Acuted. When I group all the layers, I add a LFO tool, something like this one, shape a box. And what happened is I make space for the kick and now I compressed the sounds a bit. Ooh. Just with the sausage fattener and now we come to the uh, reverse basses which you can yeah, do by your own, make a new clip and record the audio from the whole bass group and do it like that. What you can do now is copy the recorded bass shots and put them in front of the hits. After that, consolidate them by holding Command and J and shape the sounds a bit. Now repeat this technique and yeah, copy the bass shots you like in front of the bass line. I hope you know what I mean. Yeah, and now I made it with some different bass shots, wherever I like them. And in the next section, I try to widen the layers. So I try to widen the bass line. So I did this with an audio effect rack because I don't want to lose the, the mono sound. So you can see I got four different groups here and the original sound is also playing. So I add the overdrive, yo man, and also the erosion. <laughs> And think about the signal flow, the LFO tool should yeah, be at the end of the effects so that every sound is ducking down. And I also used the utility tool to mono the bass sub bass. And yeah. So what I did here is I forgot to open the kick because I cut the frequencies for the breakdown. Okay guys, so in the next step I tried to layer the clap because yeah, it is really thin. And what I did here, I yeah duplicate the track and let the clap play three milliseconds before the other claps so that they are so that they don't play exactly at the same point and yeah I tried to find a clap which is yeah a bit bit more natural and you can hear the difference I'm 
makes a huge difference. I duplicated the reverse basses into the second part and what I did here is yeah just a simple hi-hat loop playing every um, quarter bar and to bring a bit of groove to it I added swing and swing is really cool because you can yeah turn it onto your track and what happened is uh, the the notes won't play exactly on on the quantization. It sounds a bit more natural. And I also added the swing on the rides. And in this section I added a brass sound and yeah the brass sound is yeah also really really normal in slap house. What I did here I've copied the bass MIDI notes and tried to find another rhythm. Um, I played it on every one and third hit. So at first I use one brass sound from Serum. And I also layer the brass sound with the second one. Just a sample. Now compress them and to give a bit of room to it and natural sounding I added a reverb to it and only focusing on the middle. On the middle frequencies. After that I added a drum fill after the first 8 bar of the drop. some ambient sounds to it. And here is the final result. Okay guys, so if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I hope you have a good day. See you in the next video. Bye.